it is another weekly vlog so i'm up today been hanging out doing stuff um i am gonna do another what i eat in a week this week because i'm going on a little bit of a I killed my diet last week because I was away in New Orleans. Obviously, you guys will see the vlog that goes up Tuesday, not Monday. I do have a video that's already scheduled for Monday, so I didn't want to put two videos of the same day. So my girls' trip, my weekend girls' trip to New Orleans will be up Tuesday night, 8 p 8 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So today, all I'm going to do is finish editing the video. I'm actually going to do an IGTV. Um, what I've started doing now is doing um, unboxings, like hauls. Like uh, I did a Primark haul. And I'm gonna do today Rainbow Shops haul. And then I'll do the Rainbow Shops try on haul for this week. So you guys will get the video video for Rainbow Shops this week on my channel. Um, head over to my Instagram. Make sure you follow me on Instagram because I'm starting to do hauls and uh, cooking videos on there. Yes, added another component in for the month of March, didn't I? So you'll see a lot of that content on my IG. So make sure you go on my IG and check it out. So I'm basically going to make myself something to eat today, guys. I will eat now. Um, I don't even know what I'm about to eat. No clue. I do have to start putting, I gotta put this chicken in the crock pot because it's a little bit, I'm gonna do that first. Um, yeah, so, my lips are chapped, but skin is looking way better, guys. It's starting to improve. Um, I'm not getting any bumps, raised bumps so far, so that's a good, good plus. So, yeah, so, it feels like I have not vlogged in a long time. I kind of feel like awkward doing this because I feel like I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say to you guys, but it is what it is. Um, the house is pretty much clean. I do have some food um, from last night on the on there, but the house is pretty much clean thus far. So, yeah, let's jump into the vlog. started my dinner tonight because I wanted to just focus on working today have a lot of things I need to complete today so the food we're gonna do like a you know long cooking crock pot style keto meal yeah no you guys see me do the curry chicken before so I'm doing curry chicken again I use uh, thighs um, I have some green onion that like green onions onions red peppers green peppers on the bottom with some olive oil you don't put liquid in it because the chicken already produces its own oils and fats like it produces not a lot of fats because some of the fat was taken off anyways I took some of it off but it produces its own liquid so you don't have to do that if you're gonna do that it's gonna create a lot of liquid I don't really like it too liquidy so I let it produce its own liquid if I need to add some I'll add it on in after now what I'm gonna do today is um, uh, do the cauliflower rice in bulk early. I've come to realize that cauliflower rice tastes better the day after. I don't know if anyone else realized that, but I realized that. So even though I'm gonna have this curry chicken tonight with some cauliflower rice, I'm making the rice now early in the day, which is about like 12 o'clock right now, so that I can let it rest, so that therefore I can scoop and serve myself. When you make the cauliflower rice fresh, it's too mushy, so it has to sit so that the kernels can kind of, you know, formulate themselves. If anyone else knows what I'm talking about, leave your comments down below but we're gonna try this this week and I'm gonna show you guys a different So I had to show you guys a quick little look. So I'm gonna finish this hair video. I'm gonna do the IGTV Rainbow Shops a haul. Food is cooking in the back. 
Um, this is my final review on this unit, guys. You guys seen this on my head maybe like three vlogs ago, three week weekly vlogs ago. So I'm giving its final update today. Love it. So hope you guys like the look. Very simple, you know, like a little glitter and a little bit of a dark crease and. Okay, so I uploaded the NOLA weekend vlog right now. Now, it does say 28 minutes. It says 3% uploading, so I'm going to have to keep the screen up. YouTube likes to play their jokes around their games a lot, so we'll see how long this takes. But for some reason, YouTube used to do it where it was 20 seconds and they wouldn't strike the song if it was like a, copyright, a copyrighted song. But for some reason, now they're, they're striking you at 11 seconds, 9 seconds, the most random seconds. So I'm going to see if the, there was enough background music in the vlog that they don't strike me but I have enough time because it's 305 now that I can go ahead and uh, fix the problem if it does give me a strike but right now they won't show you if you got a strike so that's the only thing that I do not like about this platform like it'll like I'll monetize it right now guys but it will all it'll leave at monetizing but in a few minutes it's like once it gets down to like it's like 80 once it's down to like the very like uploaded 89 percent then it'll come on here and go checking and then it'll strike you so it'll let me know in a few minutes if it's ineligible if it is i'm just going to delete it and then go back and fix where it was that i got striked but i'm early today guys it's a 35 minute long vlog so you guys are going to get a long vlog today now that i'm done with that i can start my regular work which i should have been doing i have uh rainbow shops igtv live to film and i'm going to start a here video i'm, I'm going to install it today but i'm not gonna finish it till like maybe Friday but you guys will see what I look like in a few minutes so vlog is done long uploaded lots of giggles and fun you guys are gonna freaking love this New Orleans vlog can't wait till you guys see my vlog after I come back from my Puerto Rico trip next week you guys are gonna love it too all right guys so I got my little headband look at this line of do you guys know it's a wig you guys know you be wearing wigs when you got that line of demarcation right there but I got a little headband wig on now I'm actually making some turkey bacon right now and some scrambled eggs it is three o'clock I've been up since seven o'clock editing this video it's a 35 minute long video it took forever like that shit takes forever um skin's looking very bright guys these chemical peels are working yes and see that the side's getting light i had like a pimple here that you know ripped the skin a little bit so obviously this part's dark but um yeah my overall skin is looking very bright once i get this off i'm gonna be cool so i feel like the summer skin is gonna really be in full effect uh, yeah so today i'm gonna actually film my igt i got i got work to do so i'm happy that um I got the video kind of in process. Um, I was going to do separate what I eat in week videos for the next few weeks, but I decided not to. So I'm going to mix the food in with this week's video. So it's going to be long. Um, I just figured that some of you guys watch, love the vlogs anyway. So I'm just going to add it into the vlog because I am going to be traveling a lot. And I just, the, the editing, it's like, like five videos. It's just a little bit much for me. It's almost like it's turning into like five videos a week now. So, mm -mm. so I'm going to try to stick with my four videos a week and maybe three but the what i eat in a week i'm just gonna mix it in the vlog so you guys will see what i eat in the vlogs now so i'm gonna add that starting today i'm gonna add that in so i'm making some bacon and eggs right now all right guys still currently getting my look together if you follow me on instagram you would have seen these little 15 dollar 16 dollar wigs that got from amazon i did watch somebody's video on youtube i forgot her name i'll enter her name in the video but i did go ahead and pick those two wigs out they're like mommy wigs i guess nice and curled so i'm gonna go on ig live today because i have, I have I already showed it yesterday and you guys loved it on Instagram so I'm just gonna wear it when I do the rainbow shops unboxing I will do a haul on it so it'll be on my YouTube channel but I'm trying to kind of merge a lot of my IG um, interactions and stuff like that with YouTube so that you guys can join me there as well too so that's why I'm gonna do some try on hauls or unboxings there so follow me on Instagram if you want to be part of that before I actually post the try on haul videos I'm having my iced coffee now guys it's the Colombian blend with um, one of uh, the vanilla Premier Protein and a little bit of stevia in it. And the lashes, I don't even know. I don't even know what the lashes from, but um, I have my base on, my foundation is on, the eyes are done, the brows are done. So I just have to add like my contour. I did line my lips and put like a little bit of gloss, a little bit of um, the Huda, Huda Beauties, a Spice Girl. Um, but you guys know I do gloss, but I really need to put something underneath my eyes. It's just, I didn't put no concealer on yet, but it's just not giving me the pop. Because um, with this here, you really got to put it together, so, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, so the vlog is done. It is actually 7.10 right now. 
right now so I got it done the thumbnail and everything I did also guys let me show you guys what I also did today you guys will be very very proud of me um, I did tell you guys I'm trying to do IGTV as well so I did go ahead and post up an IGTV um, Rainbow Shops haul. So I told you guys I'm gonna be doing Coming these on my Rainbow thing. Rainbow Shops haul, guys. Hopefully you guys join in. Let me make sure the volume's up. Look at me so loud. Effect. So. But I actually tried the jumpsuit version of it. Now Rainbow Shops had a jumpsuit version of this. So I did go ahead and do this, quick. guys. Hopefully you guys. Um, Go ahead and watch it, but I am trying to do like little try and haul, like unboxings and stuff like that from things that I buy from Rainbow Shops. I did one on Primark, so here it is. Um, you guys are actually really enjoying it. A lot of people join me in the live too, so that is awesome. So make sure you guys go ahead and follow me on Instagram and kind of get into this. I am going to do a try and haul with these items, so you get the sneak peek on my IG. Alright guys, my videos um, actually premiere is about to premiere in a few seconds, but I did go ahead and install unit. Um, I just started to get it out the way because I want to use this unit for my Tron haul, so I went and installed this from MyFirstWigs.com. So I'm just letting it dry in some spots and just making sure it's overall perfected. I did use the Bold Hold Active uh, to put this down. Now I wanted to talk to you guys because the IGTV video I did today, like literally three hours and three hours I got like 10,000 views on it, which is excellent. It's definitely more than uh, Insta and then YouTube like I would get in three hours which is crazy but it's funny that a lot of people are starting to uh, watch those videos on my YouTube channel so I'm happy to incorporate it I wanted to bring up the fact like I love doing like other content on my YouTube channel when I first started off doing YouTube videos I started more off doing hair videos and I love doing hair videos but hair videos don't hold that much credit anymore just because everybody could do hair now once you start watching hair videos on YouTube it's basically like a scholar class right there uh, a master class like a master's program degree once you get on here and you start watching how to do hair trust me in a year you'll be a master hairstyle so for me hair videos on YouTube don't really hold that much weight anymore but honestly um, I still do hair videos because the amount of money that I make just for one dedicated hair video is some good ass money so I mean the shit could pay my rent so I'm gonna stick to that just because you know and you guys like to when I do the hair videos anyway so I'm gonna still keep incorporating hair videos on my channel because I like doing hair I like doing my hair so why not but I realized that the dynamics well not the dynamics the the trend now that it's moving to and my channel is like more like vlogs and like trying hauls. You guys love the trying hauls and obviously on IGTV you guys love those uh, trying hauls or uh, hauls that I do. Now when I do the hair videos and stuff like the little hair clips on IGTV it does not get as much views as when I do like showing you guys clothes and stuff like that. So I'm definitely considering just you know really being more into like the fashion on my channel and stuff like that. But like I said I started doing hair videos and then I started dipping into um, fashion and so I kind of feel like the way my channel is going now is kind of moving more into like lifestyle and fashion so that's one thing about YouTube that I want to mention like yo it's okay to you gotta you gotta learn how to grow on YouTube you're gonna have to learn to transition out and tra transition in and I'm so happy that I'm testing new things on today was so good guys I tried it last week doing the IGTV and it was great and this week already it's already going well so it's just giving me more of a perspective to look at like maybe I should start doing other things or trying to add incorporate more things into my channel of y'all know what I mean but yeah but I know you guys are gonna be like don't stop doing hair videos I'm not because that money is hella good um and honestly I get free units and I love styling and profiling for you guys so I won't stop but it's not if you guys have noticed my channel is not as um full of hair videos as it used to be when I first started I used to put out like five hair videos a week and stuff like that but like I said it's okay to change for all you guys that want to know where I go get my Haitian patties from I come here in Queens it's called La Baguette. La Baguette. I'll say it like that. It has an A there too. So it's, you know, a good place. I did already pre order mine. So I'm about to go inside right now and pick them up. But um, this is where I come get my Haitian patties from on my way to Connecticut. My mom loves the patties from here. So y'all know I can't have the patties, but this is what the Haitian patties look like. They're very, very fluffy and big. I also got my mom some Haitian bread as well and that's the old iced coffee that I need to throw it out but I also got her these nice fluffy Haitian sourdough bread really really good so that's the Haitian pate 
All right, guys, so I finally made it to my destination. I am in Connecticut. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop these patties off to my mom, but before I drop the patties off, I just wanna get an iced coffee. I like, I really need the iced coffee right now. Um, but look at this hair, baby! Look at this hairline, bro. My oh, did he just run that red light? Yes, he did. Um, but look at this hairline, baby. Why I look like somebody in the back? Girl. Oh, that's a shadow. So um, this is what it looks like with the hairline guys popping. So I'm gonna come back this way because I wanna get my keto wine when I go home. So I'll probably have to drive. Oh, I'll go to Trader Joe's. Okay, so I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's today. I'm gonna take you guys along with me just because, uh, like I said in this week's video, I'm just gonna add the food in. It makes it easier that way. So I'll make sure I put a reminder for you guys that the what I eat in the week video is gonna be combined with my vlog because it is becoming a lot to edit guys on top of the other Chan hauls and hair videos. It's t turning out to be like five videos in a week and it's just too much for me like that you guys the consistency is there but I'm just trying to make it just easier for on myself y'all feel me so um, I'm gonna show you guys what I get from Trader Joe's for keto I'm also gonna get some wine like I said I'm gonna get some of the rosé and the Pinot Noir because that one was really good from um, the keto brand um, yeah so I'm about to head to my mom's right now but I'm gonna grab this coffee and take this coffee down I do want some black and chicken tenders but I'm not really hungry right now, so it's still early. It's only like 12, 20, so it's not my time to eat yet. So I'm gonna grab this coffee. Let me excuse my, my hair, I got this big bun at the top. The hair is very pretty, guys. Like this is one of my first wigs as thick as densities, even though the hair is like a yakky texture, but I've never seen it this thick. It's very, very pretty, guys, so yeah. So let me put this down before someone calls a yap is on me. Gotta go. What I'm gonna get? Mm, I wish I ate bread. This would be so good. Can I have milk? Hi, can I have a small iced coffee with two equals and almond milk, please? It's more like coffee. How you like it? Two equals and almond milk, please. It's more like coffee. Two equals and cream. Almond milk. Almond milk. Yes. No problem. You know. That's all. Iced coffee, right? Yes. All right, you can die, please. Thank you. You're very welcome. Look at that toasty and tempting. Wow. I'm going to low carb life because I need to. Well, you already know next week I'm going to turn up when I go to Puerto Rico. <sighs> we are getting a car wash, car wash. And I get free car washes at this place. This is called Splish Splash. So I came in for my free car wash. And they do inside. I just clean the inside up real quick. Take they got Splish in New York? I think they got Splish Splash in New York. I'm not sure. But yeah. There goes my honey right there. Oh, it's just so cute. But I feel like everybody feels uncomfortable because I'm filming, so let me show you guys her. So cute. Quickest thing ever, and it's free. Who doesn't love a free car wash? So, there was my baby. Late night shop at BJ's. Dan's inside. I forgot my temporary card, so I'm gonna go inside and meet Dan. Did you? Hey, Dan. You don't want to wipe your car? I thought you. No. His wife was in Connecticut today. Where? Um, Middletown or no Manchester? Look I'm not at sure. adaptive for young readers. Wow, that's really good. Look at the I want to get the. Barat. We always come to the book section. I've been obsessed with these. You can eat, drink these on keto. They're only like one net carb for the whole entire little that's bottle. Oh, that's the wrong. Oh, that's the regular Gatorade. Sorry, guys. Where's the zero? Oh, <laughs> shit. Dark. Right. Um, yeah, so this one is, yeah, zero nut carbs for this one. This is a zero one, so. I actually had this flavor. This one's good. I never had this one. And I'm pretty sure the Glacier Freeze tastes like it. It's just, if you're on keto, you need something like this, definitely go ahead and grab this. Yeah, so have the meat. Yeah, I'm like this too. What is this? Skinless 
chicken breast. That's it. I'm gonna have to cut that in half. The bitch gonna have to cut that in half. Sorry, I'm not. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get these two. I'm gonna cry. I wanna make this. I wanna make it like special. Oh my god, now with my new pressure cooker, I could slap one little baby. This would be so good. So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna see. I'm gonna get this. Between this one and this one? These, the Pete Gary's. And I get some of these. It's different. It comes to 18 dollars too, which is not a bad price. And this is $6.49, which is reasonable. You see the car looks in here? They do? Look at the red snapper filet. Yeah, the red snapper filet be hitting, guys. This one right here. And it's always like a good price. Oh, this is $18. Whoa. Let's get a little half cup. What is this? No, I don't like that. I like the one with the skin on it. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you get this? Like, this is 15. This is 15. That's reasonable. Another $15. So, last stop for today is Trader Joe's. Dan just got a good parking spot. Hopefully I can find one right here. I think this is, oh, there's two, excellent. So we're gonna go ahead and park our baby right here. Y'all see them skills, period. So I'm gonna head into Trader Joe's. I'm gonna bring you guys with me. I'm not getting that much stuff, so I could just show you guys really quick. But I don't got this one. This is my favorite one. So I'm gonna just get one. Which one? I only have one of that left. It's so spicy. It is spicy. This it? is the best one. <laughs> this is what I wanted the uh, the turkey one that you bought last time. Is, it, is that right there? Excuse me. Justin. Mm -hmm. My honey loves this. I might get two. He really likes these. Let me just try this one up there. Yeah, What's grab that? me one of those. Hatch chili. This one is the best one. Mm -hmm. Well, this one is too. The full cheese one. I'm gonna try it. What is that? Um, oh, cookies? Yes. <laughs> I asked if you try these out. Oh, what's the point? What's the name? Salsa? Oh, no, no, no. What is it? Sweet potato fries? Yeah. Where's the ha Oh, there was a hash. Oh, right here? Yeah. It's the same as what you said. It's 13 for 3 ounces. So 12 for 3 ounces. Why do they cover the ounces? Oh, there's a hole. Ooh, that was getting nice. These are the This one's perfect. This is a perfect cut. This is the chicken sausage of the century. You know these are five ninety nine, right? I thought it was like three ninety five ninety nine. That's about the pricey, right? All right, guys, so I'm going to quickly go over the things that I got today. Went to Trader Joe's and BJ's, but you guys know BJ's is bulk. I did go ahead and get some drinks as well, too. Um, these are for my boyfriend, the Mango Passion Fruit and the Lemonade. This is mine's my Zero uh, Gatorade, and I got him the Gatorade Frost Pack. I, I can't believe mine's came in like these little mini versions. He got the big versions, but um, this comes with 24 pieces. And I think this is, no, this is 24 too. So what is this one? 28, so whatever. Um, but let me quickly go through what I got. I got the basics at Trader Joe's, the salt grinder, the pink salt, black pepper, red pepper, and onion salt. Um, I did get some feta, 
Oh, my hands are actually feta. Some extra hot sauce. So this one is keto friendly. These are all keto friendly. Very, very good, guys. This one is so spicy. I did get a can of black beans. Some of this stuff is obviously for my boyfriend, so you guys obviously know. I did get him some bread. Um, the bagels, my sister wanted three, so I got my boyfriend three of the everything bagels. Yo, BJ's has the best bagels. Their bagels taste so good. I did get the Pete and Gary's eggs. These are the eggs that I like or I use. The Nelly ones, I believe that one is. These are so good. Uh, they had chips. You want chips, so I got the Tostitos, the Ruffles. Um, I did get some cucumbers, some organic buttered salt. Um, I got my cauliflower stir-fried rice. I do have the Mexican one in the freezer, so I didn't get that one. I got my salmon. This is my favorite salmon from Trader Joe's, guys. It's a three-piece cut for $9.39, but it's like perfectly cut. You get them nice and oof, just the best. They taste so good. I also got some turkey meatballs. I got some roasted corn right here. Now this is, my boyfriend really likes this mac and cheese. So I wanted to get this one for him as well too. This one, I've, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this one. But this one, I've had this one. This one tastes really, really good. You do got to jazz this up. You guys have seen me in uh, vlogs when I've jazzed it up. Like um, my Vlogmas videos. But I've never had this one. So I want to see what this one's like. But this one, jazz it up and it's all there. Salt, pepper, a little bit of extra cheese under the oven period um, we did split up some turkey hot dogs so here are the turkey hot dogs this is my favorite 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 I didn't even realize that these are $5.99 that's expensive but I ended up getting one I was gonna get two but then I'm like nah I'm just get one so these are so good keto friendly taste so good scrambled eggs some keto toast with jam on it oh just trust me uh, I did get the Lysol they had Lysol at BJ's I think it was like five dollars for one or I don't even know the price but they had these they rarely have these in store so I found two and I got it uh, we did go um, and split these so I got the avocado oil and then the olive oil spray I highly recommend these I really like these if you don't want to use like regular olive oil or whatever oil you use on keto you spray this one and it does such a great job getting the food nice and crispy and everything so I highly recommend you guys get your hands on I love the avocado one I never tried the olive oil one so we wanted to try it out so we just uh split it between each other i got some avocados that aren't ready yet but they'll be ready soon i did get my baby cornish hen i'm not sure what kind of seasoning i'm going to do on that one but i'll let you know guys i'll let you guys know when that happens i did get some potatoes now i also did get some chicken tenderloins and i also got um the chicken i'm mean, the chicken the red snapper fillets love the red snapper fillet it's nice they it's so good like you guys will see. And lastly, I just hit the camera. <laughs> lastly, I did get the turkey burgers, the Butterball turkey burgers. These are our favorite. You can make some nice turkey burger wraps with this one. My favorite, favorite, favorite. So that's basically it, guys, for the haul. I did BJ's and Trader Joe's. Honestly, truly, if you just go to BJ's, BJ's and Trader Joe's, you basically get everything that you need. Obviously, there's extra things in here for my honey, but you guys know the vibes. And... That was basically part of my day. Alright guys, happy Thursday. I'm like in the middle of filming and I am actually at um at a virtual um, event right now with Elizabeth Arden. So um, I got invited to a few weeks ago and I actually forgot it on my calendar. This has been a crazy week, but uh, she actually reminded me yesterday. I did get a PR package sent to my P.O. box, but I didn't even get it yesterday, but you guys will see the PR package uh, tomorrow, but it's a cute little event. I'm going to show you guys in a second. Um, they're talking about this new skincare. You guys know I'm into skincare now because I'm trying to get my skin flawless for the summer, so I was interested when I got offered the invitation, so I was like, I'm going to go and listen to what they got to say because skincare is life now. So, um, yeah, so I will turn the screen and show you guys what's going on, but I was in the middle of filming. I just remembered the time. Guys, this wig laid to the gods like i love this texture from my first wig like look at how beautiful this hair is like brah and my makeup today is just so i've been contouring my nose lately but let me get my previous one and um i've been infinitely happier and it was one of those things where um i think when you're you're running the, the marathon you don't really take time to think about okay now i gotta train for the the next race but when you take a minute to pause mm -hmm. What's up, y'all? All right, guys, so I am getting some wings ready for the oven, but I wanted to come and, you know, say hi, what's up? So I did go ahead and do an Instagram reel today. It came out so cute. Um, I did show a few of uh, the Rainbow Shop pieces that I did in my IGTV. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you're not seeing what I'm doing on there now. I'm being more interactive, I guess you guys can say. Um, so I was on there earlier. 
and I did an Instagram reel with some Rainbow Shop items. You guys know I'm going on a trip next week, so I had to do like a little show. You will get the try and haul on Saturday, so don't worry about that. Um, I'm putting some kicking chicken in my wings, guys, by the way. So if you guys know what this one is, I get this one from Marshall's TJ Maxx. So freaking bomb. So I'm putting this on the wings. I did put garlic powder, onion powder, cayenne pepper, salt and pepper only. And I'm just adding the kicking chicken. Um, but like I said, I did go ahead and do some of my Instagram reels, but you guys will see the try and haul um, soon. So yeah, so I wanted to chat with you guys real quickly, give you guys a little bit of tea. Um, you guys know I'm looking for a new apartment. The apartment hunt has started. And the only reason why I started is because you guys in New York City, you got to kind of move a little bit quick because the stuff goes by really quick. So I try to look for places that have like buildings where there's like maybe like five or six apartments available. So I was able to find a few items that I like, but it's still too, too early. My elbow's ashy. It's still too, too early. So um, I'm just looking. Prices are definitely down, by the way. So if you was paying about $3,500 for an apartment before, right now you can get it for maybe like $2,700, which is $27, $25, two-bedroom, two-bathroom. I mean, it's New York City. What are you going to expect? So, yeah. So, I'm looking now. Now, I want to give you guys a quick little story time. Maybe this will help some of you guys out, especially the ones out there that want to you know make big moves big boss moves and do things and move around and get this and get that trust me you want to hear this so the first time i moved to the city guys um my experience was definitely one for the one for the books so the first time i moved here guys literally um it was like a quick it wasn't a quick move it was like kind of like we rushed because like i said i was not prepared i didn't know how fast it moved out here like everything moves really fast out here so um i was looking ended up finding something that i liked right now you guys know i've been doing this for about three years so the full time i've been doing youtube full time for three years so my income for the last three and a half years full time has always been six figures since i started full time i've been get in the bag you know what i'm saying so money has never been like an issue but my credit guys <laughs> and i'm saying this to those that be like oh it don't matter i got money like it don't matter like i could buy it you can but people will still tell you you ain't getting this so trust me so the first place that we got guys my credit score is maybe like 596 it was bad like i and i was just doing dumb stuff i don't even know why i got it was just bad i actually had a student loan at that time so that's probably why so um i had my credit score was 596 i did have one thing in collections so i quickly went went and paid that thing off in collections before i actually went to get an apartment so my credit score went up maybe like 620 but 620 is not good credit guys like that's not considered good so i was still down in the dumps so um for the apartment i was like like literally like last minute like and i'm like i need to move soon so um this place gave us like a little bit of a run around or whatever but what ended up happening was that they asked us for like five month security deposit now new york city is definitely different now they don't do that anymore i think they can only ask you for first and last month's rent now because they changed the rules but literally guys they asked us for like five month deposit so i had to go to chase bank i got a traveler's check for over 15 thousand dollars for a security deposit now you guys are gonna probably be like what the fuck yes and i don't know if they do that in any other city but like i'm telling you new york city that's how they roll because they do not trust people and i understand it if you have bad credit and i'm not saying everyone that has bad credit or anyone that has credit issues it's either because you were late paying some shit or you just didn't pay it at all so for someone if you're moving into someone's apartment and the rent is like thirty five hundred dollars they want their thirty five hundred dollars every fucking month you know what i'm saying so they're not going to take chances with you so therefore they they didn't trust us which i understand but they made us pay fifteen thousand dollar over fifteen thousand dollar security deposit so that definitely was kind of like a wow but i mean obviously i was getting the money at the end of the lease anyway so it didn't matter but the thing about that guys is like if you don't got it like that where you can just pull the money out of your accounts and be like okay i could just pay that no big deal that really is going to stop you from getting things you want and i say that to say this like since i think what was it so after that situation happened to me guys that was like 2018 2019 rolled around once i was selling to my apartment and i paid off every single debt i ever freaking had guys like 
When I tell you guys, I had a student loan from when I went to LPN school that was over $20,000. I paid that shit in one day. And then um, I had a few other credit cards that would total up to maybe like, like a few thousand. In general, I had over, I had debt over like $28,000. And I kid you guys not, I pay that shit in one single day. And the thing about it is like, especially when you're on the platform, I'm just gonna give this out there. If you're on the platform and you're making money, and you got student loans and stuff like that, get your head together, bro. Pay the shit. Like, that, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that. There's, I know there's a lot of other influencers that are smart like that, but if you are on here and you making $100,000, $200,000, $300,000, four, half a million dollars, and you got the nerve to have a $50,000 student loan hanging over your head and you're paying the bare minimum, bro, if you got money sitting in your savings account, you can pay that shit. And let me tell you guys something. When I paid it, I was a little bit like, you know, it didn't hurt my pockets that much, but I was like, you know what, this is gonna help. So guess what? As soon as I paid that shit, my credit score jumped up so high, guys. Now, I did also sign up for Lexington Law, and it's not sponsored, but I've been with Lexington Law for about two years. So after I paid my debt off, my credit score jumped up to maybe like a 680, 690. So at that point, my credit was just, you know, was getting there. As soon as I paid that off, my credit score was like a 690, 6 something. So I signed up with Lexington Law maybe like two years ago. And for the influencers out there, if you have bad credit, you can actually put that off as a tax write-off in your tax write-off. My accountant said it's okay because if you're a business owner, if you own a business or a brand, you still have to have good credit to be a boss you know what i'm saying like you have to have good credit to get things like in a business right so you can put that as a tax write-off i'm just letting y'all know because my accountant said i'm okay with that so that's what i do so if you want to sign up for lexington law i don't i don't know if i can get a referral code maybe i'll add it down below but literally they had gotten so many things off of my credit report i actually slide to here right now my credit score right now is 751 so it's up um i'm not sure what it is on the other ones because it's like that equin there's like a whole bunch of them i'm not even saying any stupid names and i mess it up but there's a whole bunch of other platforms that show you the score so my i guess like my the score that i see is 751 so it could be like 780 somewhere else 769 so i'm in the 750 so i have good credit which is amazing um Lexington Law definitely helps boost it. Um, when I first found out about Lexington Law, my older sister Dar was using it and it was working for her, so I signed up for it. And like I said, if you're an influencer, it don't matter how much money you got, guys. Like, it does not matter. I'm telling you from facts. Like, I'm telling y'all, these motherfuckers had me, motherfuckers, they had me drop a $15,000 check off to the uh, property management that ass so it doesn't matter credit is so freaking important so i feel like my experience this time is going to be different i feel like when i go now it's just going to be like okay she got the coin she got the credit check plus be out and that's the type of experiences i want to have you know what i'm saying it's cool and dope and stuff like that to have the coin but like when you got that extra good credit on the back literally when i got my car my new car now i literally went in there and just walked right out. It was like the quickest process. The guy didn't even have to have a conversation with me. And, you know, was joking, you know, trying to get the sale or whatever. But I literally went inside and walked the hell out. And that's what happens when you have good credit. You can do stuff like that. So it's just more opportunities to get stuff. And like, if you're preparing to like buy a house in the future and stuff like that, you kind of want to have those things aligned up. But yeah, so I just thought I'd give you guys that little story time. Give you like a little tea about stuff like that. But that was my experience and it definitely shifted my mind quickly. So take all those things into consideration and try to work towards getting that you know the score up um i'll leave a referral code down below if you guys want or just leave a link you guys can sign up for it um but it definitely helped me out and it definitely changed my mindset as well too time tracking is fun said no one ever that's why we designed connect team's time clock to simplify time tracking your deskless employee pulls out their mobile and taps the time clock to clock in. They can even classify their hours under a project, customer, or site. And that's it. They're clocked in with all the information right there. Where, when, and on what. Oh, and by the way, with this widget on their home screen, your user always knows their clock. Alright guys, so this is what the wings look like. They're pretty cook i like my wings like really soft like falling off the bone but this is like the first like 30 minutes or 25 minutes so i'm gonna add some sauce on top and put it back in the oven i like my wings to be like soft falling off the bone type i do have my cauliflower rice here that's what i'm gonna have um <clears throat> you guys know i love trader joe's so 
even though I'm not really speaking to my boyfriend right now, but I always have to make a meal. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean, ladies. So, um, I know he likes this, so I'm going to make this for him tonight, even though I'm not really talking to him right now. But he likes this, so I'm going to make this for him tonight. Um, if you guys, Trader Joe's, like, like, it's a business. Like, you guys really need to go there and get some stuff. It's all natural, good quality food guys um i usually jazz this up but i'll show you guys how to jazz it up for him and stuff like that but i got my collie rice right there and i'm gonna go ahead and put the barbecue sauce on this so i put the d hudges barbecue sauce on here i got as much as i can on there i'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of cajun seasoning on my wings I just like extra flavor, you know what I mean. And I didn't put too much salt on the wings just because one time I made wings and I overdid. Um, the kick and chicken season has like um, pink salt in it, so I had already put salt and didn't realize that. So that's why I was shaking the chicken chicken because the the kick and chicken because sometimes if you don't shake, you're gonna get all these salt crystals at the top. So um, I already tried the chicken; it's not too salty, which I like. Well, it's not salty at all, but. One time I just messed that up real big time and it was I couldn't even eat it. So this time around I test I tasted and everything, which I always do, but because I'm adding the barbecue sauce on, I just want to make sure it wasn't too, you know. And this one doesn't have that much salt on it, so just wanted to give it a little bit of Cajun kick. So I'm gonna pop this back into the oven. Alright guys, so these are the wings, the barbecue wings.